Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read S5 5021 Magic Tree House number 5, Night of the Ninjas by Mary Pope Aston. Chapter 3 E High. Jack opened his eyes, and he was already looking out the window. The mouse peeked out of a pouch. Jack looked out the window too. The air was fresh and cool. The tree house was in a tree with what white flowers. The tree was in a grove of trees on the side of a mountain. Nearby, a wild stream rushed downhill. Two ninjas were standing on rocks near the water. They were staring at the valley below. One ninja was tall. The other was short. They wore black pants and shirts. They had black scarves around their heads and swords strapped to their backs. It was exactly like the picture in the book, Jack crouched below the window. Be careful, he whispered. Don't let them see you. Why not? Annie whispered back. They might think we are some kind of an enemy, said Jack quietly. And he crouched beside him. Jack pushed his glasses into place. Now he was going to look at the ninja book. He picked up the book. He turned to the beginning. He read. Very little is known about the shadowy warriors called ninja. Historians believe that ninjas lived in Japan between the 14th and 17th centuries. Of course, men and women were ninjas. Sometimes they fought to protect their family. Sometimes warlords hired, upon, hired them to be spies. Wow, whispered Jack. We are in Japan hundreds of years ago. Jack opened his backpack. He pulled out his notebook and pencil. He liked to take notes, he wrote. Ninjas were warriors in old Japan. Jack whispered Annie, they are looking, they are looking up. I think they know we are here. Jack peeked over the window sill. His eyes met the dark eyes of the tall ninja. Ehi! The ninja cried. He dashed toward the tree. The other ninja followed. Oh no, said Annie. We've got to go, Jack said. Where is the Pennsylvania book? He and Annie looked around wildly. But where was the book about Pennsylvania? It had a picture of the Frog Creek Woods in it. Jack and Annie couldn't get home without it. It's not anywhere, cried Annie. We've got to do something fast, said Jack. Pull up the ladder. He and Annie grabbed the top of the rope ladder. They pulled the ladder into the treehouse. But the tall ninja leaped at the tree trunk. Then he started climbing up the tree. The shore ninja followed. They climbed just like cats. Jack and Annie huddled in a corner. The ninjas climbed into the treehouse. Neither one made a sound. The end.